Hey, hey, my friends, welcome into my office. I am Martha Barnett. I'm a presenter with Unique, and I'm going live today just to do a little Saturday morning. Hello, how are ya? Uh, I'm gonna be getting ready for the day and doing a very quick summer stay at home look because I'm gonna be here pretty much all day. Um, yesterday, I was supposed to get a package that required a signature, and I was here all day, and they didn't show up. Of course, isn't that the way it always goes? So I'm gonna be here today and hoping they show up today with my package. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get ready and do a little talking about some specials, some stuff that's going on, and doing a little moisturizing while I'm talking about it. I'm getting ready to do a, a video series on skincare. I had a request for it. And so I started filming it yesterday and I tried to load it to some of my sites and ran into some snafus, so that's as far as I got. But it is coming, I'm gonna talk summer skincare. By the way, my number one suggestion for summer is the rose water. Now this one actually happens to be, I think, citrus. Um, back probably in November when we do our um, Black Friday, like 12 days of Christmas kind of thing. We had some specials. These are little mini size bottles. Um, and they did some different scents. I know they did lavender, but I sold my lavender to somebody. Um, this one is grapefruit. Um, they did a couple of different scents. I wish they would bring them back as a regular item. But the regular one that you can get is rose water. I recommend this for summer because it is great for any kind of skin irritations. Um, my guys even use it for razor burn. Uh, you can use it for bug bites, sunburn, summertime rashes, um, even eczema and psoriasis. My husband deals with a lot of eczema. Um, this helps take the irritation out, the itch out. Um, same thing with sunburn and bug bites, kind of takes the sting or the itch out. Um, so any kind of little skin problem that you've got in the summertime, um, this will work wonders. It's great as just a regular toner. I use it every day as just an astringent toner on my skin. So I just want to mention that because it is my fave. Next, I'm going on to primer. I've also had a lot of questions about primer lately, it seems like. And people always say, do you really need primer? I mean, it's an extra step. It's an extra expense. Is it really necessary? And I say, yeah, it is. It's a game changer. Once you try it, you won't want to go without it because you'll figure out that it really does make such a difference in the application of your foundation in the surface of your skin. Because let's face it, none of us have perfect skin and it's not the same texture all over. Like right here in my T-zone, I have got oilier spots over here, especially on the sides of my chin and my jawline. Um, I have got really rough, dry, dry, rough, dry skin. I can't talk today. In fact, I've got some sort of skin issue going on over here that I've got to talk to the dermatologist about. Um, but my skin's not the same overall. I've got huge, large pores right here. I've got, you know, the bags under the eyes. So it's not the same all over. So when you go to put your foundation on, it's not gonna stick the same in each section of your face because the texture of your skin's not the same. You put the primer on, that sort of evens everything out. Just like when you prime your walls before you paint, it's gonna do the same thing. It's gonna give you a nice, smooth, even surface all over. So here comes my liquid foundation, which is on sale, by the way, while supplies last. Um, it'll only be on sale through the end of July. And some of the shades will sell out very quick. So if you are a fan of the liquid foundation, now is the time to grab it because it's down to $29, I believe. And I think the regular price is 39, so that's like $10 off. That's the lowest I've ever seen it. That's the best sale I've ever seen on the foundation. It's only the liquid. It's not the other formulations, the powder, the spray, the stick. It's just the liquid. My guess is our convention is coming up soon, um, the end of July. And so my guess is they're gonna change the packaging, the, uh, the name, the shades, they're gonna change something very slightly about it. Doubt if they're gonna make any big changes because it is probably the second most popular product that we sell behind the 4D mascara uh, or the Twisted Epic mascara. So um, I doubt if they're gonna make big changes, probably just to the packaging and the shades. They'll probably offer more shades and 
probably make some slight change. So that's why they're selling out of um, what they've got in stock because they're gonna make some changes. So if you want it, get it now, it's on sale. Everybody always asks me, when's the foundation going on sale? Um, now, it's going on sale now. <laughs> so don't wait, because some of the colors will sell out super quick. Surreal Blush, my absolute favorite, all time. And yes, I look extra sweaty today because I worked out this morning um, and our air conditioning broke in the middle of a heat wave, of course. It broke and we're all sweaty here. We got fans going, but it's not really helping all that much. Ah, the new brow pencil. Let me talk about this for a second while I shade my brows just a bit. I've never been a fan of the pencil. Um, the one we had before was just like a straight tip, just a rounded tip. If you look super, super close, you can see this one has a beveled edge. I don't know if you can see that up close, but I like it a lot better. It's kind of like um, the markers that are at a slant. So I really like this much, much better. Um, it does come in new shades. This is the Auburn, which I love. It always seemed like the medium was too light and the dark was too dark. So I love that they've got five shades now instead of three. So you're much more likely to find a color that will match your brows. And then on the other end, it's got this super cool little brush. Let me show you that. I really like this and I am not a fan of brow pencils. I've always used either the powder or the pomade, which I do have. I have the powder and the pomade right here. The powder is strictly a powder, the pomade, um, has just a little bit more of a gel texture to it, but I am loving this pencil. And I've never, never been a fan before, um, but I really like the color. I like how easy it is to use, how quick it goes on. I like this little brush on the other end. I feel like it kind of blends it so it looks more natural. Here we go. Yes. All right, I hope everybody's having a great weekend so far. I know I am. I am just gonna do um, a real simple eye look today. I'm going to grab the Misty Liquid Eyeshadow. This is one of the new limited time shades. I love this color. So I'm gonna put this in the crease and the edge of my eye over here, kind of in a V shape on both sides. And I'm just gonna blend that in with a nice big soft fluffy brush. I'm not even gonna do the rest of my eyelid. I'm just gonna highlight that little section in the corner. As soon as I find my I'll use this crease brush. All right, here we go. So I'm just going to blend that in now, right there. There we go. And then I'm going to take the glassy, which is this iridescent um, shimmery shade, the, the gray, the misty is a matte shade. You can tell it doesn't have any shimmer to it, but this glassy, it does have a shimmer and it's very iridescent. I'm gonna put that on the inner corner of my eye. I'm gonna go back and blend that really well. And you wouldn't even have to do the glassy if you didn't want to. You could just go with the misty, the misty gray. Um, I think that would look fine by itself. But I added just that little shimmer on the inside corner just to do a real neutral, quick look. I am going to add a little bit of this super dark plum shadow. I'm gonna use that as my liner and I'm going to use this super cool brush I got. It is by Oh, what is the name of this company? Um, 
Whoosh, W-O-O-S-H. Um, I love it because the one end is like a little V-shape. It's perfect for doing the outer edge of your eye if you wanna get sort of that um, cat eye look. And then the other end is slanted and it's a big slanted brush. So I really like this brush. I bought it a couple months ago and I've been kind of experimenting with it, but I think it does a great job when I want to line with shadow underneath my eyes, underneath my lower lashes. And I, I think that just does a really nice job. I think it's really pretty. There we go. All right, now let's jump to some mascara. I'm gonna use the Twisted Epic with the tiny brush on my lower lashes. And I'm gonna use the 4D on my upper lashes. Hmm. And if anybody has any questions about any of the products that I'm showing, please feel free, pop them in the comments down below. I can't always see the comments when I'm live, but after I'm off, I can see the comments and I will be glad to reply to you. That's what I'm here for. Even if it's a question just in general about makeup, it doesn't have to be about unique products. It could just be a general, a general topic question. Um, because even if I never sell you anything from Unique, my goal is to help you look your very best and answer any questions that you've got because I want every woman to feel confident about their appearance so we can concentrate on the bigger issues in life. And yes, there are much bigger issues. I got a little mascara right there on my, oh. I cut some bangs on the sides of my hair over here this last time. I have like some little layered bangs. Sometimes they get stuck in my eyelashes. There we go, that looks much better. Oh, whoa, second coat here. And today for my lips, I'm gonna show the Hottie Lip Plumper. I'm gonna show the exfoliator first and then the Hottie Lip Plumper because that's one of the specials for this month besides the foundation, the liquid foundation being on sale. There is a bundle. You get two shades of Hottie Lip Plumpers. There are some gorgeous shades. There's a new chocolate brown that's really beautiful. Um, so you get to pick two shades. You get two Hottie Lip pump Plumpers and you get an exfoliator. And the exfoliator can be in your choice of flavor. Um, they've got the original, it's like sugar cookie flavor. And then somewhere in here, I've got one. Let me grab my whole lipstick thing here. Ah, here it is. Um, this one was from Christmas time. I don't know if it comes in this color, but this is the peppermint. And I don't know if it's still red and white like that or if it's just the regular black, but this is the sugar cookie one and that is the peppermint. So I'm gonna show you that. And I think this is, yeah, here's one. It was also in white for a special one time. But what you do with this one is you use this to exfoliate your lips before you put on any lip product. And not only does it taste darn great, but it's sort of gritty. And you put that on and you rub your lips together and it gets like rid of all the little um, flaky dry patches on your lips. I have issues with that even in the summer because my skin is so dry. Um, I'm also one of those people who tends to um, bite their lip a lot or pick at the dry skin that's on my lips. So this really helps get a smooth surface on my lips so that when I go to put on my lip product, it's gonna go on much easier. As I try to talk with my finger in my mouth. Hmm. There we go. All right, now I'm gonna add the Hottie Lip Plumper. Let me find one here. Ah, here we go. I have several shades, but I keep them in various purses. This one is ah, the Renee Rochelle. It's in this 
bright pinkish sort of shade. Now, this Hottie Lip Plumper, what I really like about this formulation is it's basically just cinnamon and peppermint oil. That's what um, you feel kind of working when you first put it on. I wouldn't say it. There we go. So you can feel it. Um, you can feel like the peppermint and the cinnamon kind of tingling. I guess that's the word I want, it's tingling. But it will help your lips look fuller. Like I have a really thin upper lip. It'll help plump them up. Not that you're gonna look ridiculous like some of those videos you've seen on the internet with these women with these great big huge lips that just look ridiculous. Um, it's just gonna help enhance your natural lip shape. And they come in gorgeous, gorgeous colors. And they're very, very long wearing. So you don't have to worry about this coming off on your coffee cup or your straw or whatever. It's gonna stay put. You may see a little bit of it, but it's not gonna come off your lips. It's gonna be there long term. So. I love the Hottie Lip Plumpers, so check those out. And like I say, you get two of these and one exfoliators in the bundle or the liquid foundation is on sale today. All right, last thing I've got to, especially in this heat today, mm, some setting spray, because I want everything to stay put where it's at. Use my fluffy brush to kind of brush that all in. All right, and there goes the FedEx truck, and why isn't he stopping with my package? Ah. All right, well, here's hoping, friends. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.